Good morning. How important is the teaching about Jesus? Today we're at 2 John, verses 9 to 11. Here's what they say. Whoever transgresses and does not abide in the doctrine of Christ does not have God. He who abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this doctrine, do not receive him into your house nor greet him. For he who greets him shares in his evil deeds. That's a pretty strong prescription there, John. Is this an important item? Well, of course it is. Now, the text here in the New King James Version reads, whoever transgresses, but it's probably better to translate this, whoever allows this, whoever proceeds in this pattern, whoever goes ahead. Whoever goes ahead and embraces this and is friendly or even neighborly to this teaching, John has strong condemnation for him. Don't do that, he says. Whoever accepts the false teaching about Jesus doesn't have God. When we do continue to accept the teaching that Jesus came in human flesh, John says we have both the Son and the Father. But conversely to that, opposite to that, when we take this other teaching, we wind up without either one. If someone comes to you and they don't bring this teaching, John warns you. He says, do not receive this person into your house. And even, he says, do not even greet them. This teaching about Jesus not coming in the flesh is one of those very subtle teachings that, that has enormous power. And that's how it gets that norm, enormous power, by being such a subtle uh, teaching. It, it runs so much closer to the line of truth that it can do a lot more damage if we embrace it or if we stupidly just kind of say, yeah, that sounds pretty close. Pretty close is not good enough for Christianity. Pretty close is not good enough if you're going to be a Bible Christian. There are very few teachings in the Bible that tell us not to render hospitality, and even more, not even to greet someone, but this is one of them. It's very strong. Now, we know from history that the church in these early centuries really did suffer with many false dilemmas and sidetracks and alleyways, bad mistakes, uh, when it came to the doctrine of Jesus, the incarnation of Jesus. Is he God? Is he man? What's the combination? Uh, and there were a lot of pitfalls there. So, so here we have John warning us. If the church had followed John's warning, maybe those things wouldn't have been as severe. So how do we take special care not to have these problems, not to be influenced by these false teachings? And the answer really is, is again, and I know I've said this before, but the Bible. The Bible is your tester. The Bible is the way to test all things. Uh, find the things that are true and hold on to them. But how do we know what's true? We have to test it. So we need to be Bible people in the Bible going through again and again. I'm preparing for our next series after this, and I'm just reading over and over and over and prayerfully those chapters, and I'll, I'll tell you what that is. I guess no later than tomorrow. But we are looking at this, and we, we need the Bible. The Bible is crucial. It's our pathway home. Without it, we're going to be deceived. We just will be. So let's stay close to the Word of God. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we are naturally looking for with goodwill to others. We, we want to extend goodwill. Here we are warned, however, not to be hospitable to people with this extraordinary false teaching, not even to greet them. Oh, Lord, this, this takes discernment, uh, and this, this seems like it's hard to us. Help it not to be hard to us. Help us to be very deeply looking at the Bible. Help us to, to have that deeper understanding so that we can weigh things that, that are brought to us and we can know what's true and what's false, especially in this category. This seems to be one, Lord, that, that your servant John is highlighting for us. So, Lord, help us to be uh, diligent in understanding Jesus, that Jesus came in the flesh and what that means. Help us to be diligent students, Lord. Thank you that we can be your disciples and follow you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. There are clear teachings in the Bible that are non-negotiable. We need to be very firmly grounded in the teachings of Scripture, and God will help us. And God will help you today. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus. God be with you.